Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. Uh, we just hit 1,000 subscribers, so that's kind of cool. So thanks for subscribing if you've done that. And if you haven't, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, help me out. We're gonna go over a uranium update today, and we're just gonna jump right into it. So here's uranium update. So next, what's going on with uranium? So the ratio is at 63.3 now because gold's jumped quite a bit today. So it's even cheaper now that gold is rising. Our metering stick, or what we're measuring against, is increasing, which is the gold standard. Uranium stocks were given steroid injections and a corked bat for this home run derby. That's what's going on. So what are the charts telling us? I'm gonna look at a bunch of charts. So first, I'm just gonna show you the ratio. We're off the chart still. Uh, this is uranium's cheap up here. And eventually during this bull market, it's going to work its way all the way back down somewhere to the bottom in here, I think, where uranium is expensive in relationship to gold. And this could be like a four to one ratio. Maybe it's four or five to one, somewhere in that range. So keep that in mind. We are at extremely cheap valuations. Here's UEC. Now I didn't go back, but there's a lot of garbage back here that comes across. It jumped through this and we're starting to contract up a little bit again. Uh, this still looks pretty good to me. So I, I don't think we're, it's ready yet for a big turn, you know, for a big pullback or anything like that. It may continue to go higher. Uh, we do have, I mean, if you notice, there's wicks on the bottom here and there's wicks on the top. This is a, a battle between buyers and sellers at this point. And it's kind of, the buyers are overwhelming the sellers and it's just making these, these jumps. So we had a little fight here. We had a little fight here, but there's still a lot of momentum. There's still a lot of people buying this stock. What looks kind of weird is this is almost the same exact pattern repeated over and over. It's kind of weird in terms of volume. Here's uh, UUUU. Uh, this thing was obviously just going straight, straight vertical. Uh, it broke out of this large pattern back here. And whenever you break out of patterns, it kind of paused right here and poof, gone. So here we are shooting higher. It looks like it still has a bunch of momentum. I think it's gonna continue to, 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 to move on up. That's what it looks like. Here's uh, Encore. I know a lot of people had, uh, asked about Encore. Again, this is moving higher. Whenever you have these little black candlesticks, it usually means that the momentum might change for a little bit. Now we came down here, but I don't think we're gonna just shoot down here. We've got this bullish engulfing. So I think we're probably gonna move sideways a little bit and then we're gonna continue on up. That's what I think is gonna happen. Something on the lines of that. Here's URNM. So we broke out, uh, came back a little bit, broke out again, and we're, we're kind of, well, this is a contraction. So the opening and closing prices are contracting together, which means that the opening and the closing price are almost the same. And we're seeing that for three or, you know, this is a reversal pattern, and then we're seeing this contraction. So more than likely what I'm, gonna guess here is, or what I think is gonna happen probability wise is that we're gonna pull back a little bit. So I think we're gonna have a pullback in URNM overall. Next gen energy. So again, we, we broke out, boom, boom, boom. And we're sitting here. I think we're just, we've got wicks on the bottom, wicks on the top. We might just go sideways for a little bit or pull back just a teeny bit. That's, that's my guess, which is you know right in front of us. Uh, if you see a day where it comes down and then starts fighting its way back up, it may create another bullish engulfing pattern. So that would be, that would be bullish if it, if it creates that pattern over the next few days. Fission, you know, a lot of these, it, there's so much momentum behind them that, you, you know, you pull up, you pull back, you pull up, you pull back. I mean, this could continue higher in that same kind of stair-stepping pattern. This one's a little bit different because we've got all these contractions here. See, it's one, two, three, four, five. It may just go sideways for a little bit and then continue higher. So that, what I'm seeing is this, this, this stair-stepping pattern. So it's probably either going to contract down a little bit the next day or continue on up. Here's Can Alaskan Uranium. So if you look back here, we've got this nice big bullish engulfing and then the pullback in, inside of it. So that's a nice signature trait of higher, moving higher, a little pullback, moving higher, pullback with a wick on the bottom. Maybe this continues higher. 
you know, we've got a lot of momentum. There's some, some volume stepping in. So I'm going to say sideways or higher on this one. Deep yellow, you know, we've got a nice strong uptrend here. We do have a pattern that kind of comes to a tip here and then a little down day. So we might pull back a little bit, maybe. But there's a lot of volume. There's a lot of momentum in this sector. Uh, so, you know, it, it could continue higher. But what I see here is maybe a little pullback before we go higher. CCJ, I just drew a line across this top here, broke all the way up. It's probably going to come and back test this maybe a couple days, maybe a week. Uh, but it's back tested, so you know it depends on what the buyers do here. If the buyers step in, it's going higher. If if it kind of tracks along sideways, maybe it'll it'll come back or sideways a little bit. But I mean, if it was my money, I'd probably be cost averaging in right now, if it were me. Uh, Western uranium. I know there's some people that wanted to see Western uranium. You know, you can draw a line across here. So it broke out of that. Um, so you've got that, you've got these like patterns where it steps up, comes back, steps up. And then we've got this big move, little pullback, big move, little pullback. It's probably gonna continue higher. That's my guess. Here's Laramide resources. Draw the line across. Maybe a shoulder, head, shoulder. This looks like it's gonna go higher. That's what I see. Uh, ISO energy, here's one. Kind of an interesting pattern looks almost like a shoulder head shoulder pattern and here's the neckline it broke out to the top side probably going to back test you can see it was down six and a half percent it's probably back testing this line right here uh, maybe it goes sideways for a little bit and then and then tracks higher but this looks good to continue higher it's iso energy here's paladin energy god these chart patterns are breaking left and right downtrend broke we were coming up and we broke out to the upside and it's just sitting on the top of this, this pattern here. I, I think it's time to, you know, if you like Paladin, just cost average in still. And I think this is going to continue to go higher. That's what it looks like for Paladin. So I wanted to touch on, you know, a bunch of companies. Um, they all look very strong still. Uh, maybe some small pullbacks, uh, short, short term, couple days or, or less. Uh, and then it looks like the majority of these are want to continue to go higher given them breaking their chart patterns and sitting on the tops of those patterns. So I would be looking at, you know, I would definitely not sell anything. Uh, and if you want to add possibly to some of these, you know, that might be a, a good decision if that's what you want to do. Remember, this is just financial education. It's not advice. Uh, I'm going through the patterns to teach you guys what to look for. So I say uranium looks, it still looks pretty good. Uh, some of them might are getting a little tired. They're going to have to pull back for a little bit. Others still look pretty strong. And they're going to go sideways or higher at best. Or at, uh, sideways at best, higher most likely. Thanks for listening.